Hi everybody, this is Neil Feiler. I'm here with the weekly astrological message. Um, this time until about the 10th. I've missed a week. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening. I'm now in my mother's house, shooting here in the terrace. Um, yeah, anyway, may we all be healthy and well. Amen. Um, I want to share with you everything that's happening in the sky, but even before I do, I want to say a few words about Stormy Grace, a wonderful astrologer, wonderful human in that, in that aspect as well, and, and really doing everything that she can in order to bring quality astrological education to everyone freely over the net. She has opened a, 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 a tremendous, with tremendous effort, last year the YouTube Astrology Academy through donations and all of the teachers including myself some of the best astrologers in the world are teaching there for free and now we're coming up to the second season and her Kickstarter needs your help if you want to study astrology for free from some of the best why don't you back up Stormy's amazing idea to give it freely for us and help everybody become a better astrologer. Okay, so now to the energy in the sky. And as you know, I really try and simplify things for you as much as I can. So we're coming from a time that the sun was sex sun in Cairo. And it's a great time for self-healing or self-healing together. Um, Mercury was conjunct Pluto. It's an intense time psychologically and emotionally. It could be an intense time in relationships as well. But in relationships, Venus is trining Uranus, brings a sense of new acquaintances, new groups we're meeting, updates with not only friends, but Venus is in charge of three kinds of relationships. First and foremost, our self-value and what comprises it, what makes it up. Secondly, how we draw in material value in our life, money. And third, the relationships we have with other people and the abundance, the uh, uh, care, the um, benefits, and the um, weight of those relationships on us. So it's a great time for update in all of these arenas. And this is going to follow us for at least the middle of February. Other than that, the sun was squaring Uranus on the 30th, which means this is a great time to update who you are and what you do. It's a great time to let in the new. And definitely, as the sun is approaching Saturn, squaring Uranus, this square is intensified. We could feel that the, law, the laws of the system do not apply anymore, but we need to still abide by them in order to keep ourselves stable financially, because these are still the laws. This is still the system, although reality has way, is way forward, surpassed that structure by millennia, and everything needs to be updated, but it's not still. And we can feel that intensity in our lives personally, we can feel the need to go forward and update, and we can feel the need to stay stable if we want to make it. <laughs> and there's a tension between those two. And usually, when the sun is, is uh, conjunct, when the sun is conjunct Saturn, this is a time for reckoning. This is a time to think about everything and have we done things right and to learn from the lessons and to actually grow and mature and take responsibility. It's a depressive time, usually. It's not if we did things right. If, if we did things right, this would be the time that we gain authority, that we gain hegemony, that we are actually recognized for our efforts and trials and experience. But even though the sun is conjunct Saturn, the sky is full of energy. Planet of male energy, Mars, is sextiling Jupiter, great expanser, expander, Jupiter, and then it's trining Uranus. So there's a wave of energy in the sky that allows us to transcend things that have stood in our way in the past. Allows us to walk forward and take everything in and say, hey, we can deal with it. And I want to talk about the dissonance 
between what everything, everything that life is throwing upon us right now, because this is a hard time, and how we are actually dealing with it. There's a vast dissonance between the two. And I want you to tap yourself on the shoulder for how you are dealing with it, because what this time teaches you and all of us is how strong we are for dealing with everything the way we do. And this feeling can be intensified as well, but so can frustration and anger in the next few weeks and rebelliousness if we're not careful, especially when we're hitting, I mean, Mars sextile Jupiter and Sun conjunct Saturn is on the 4th and the 5th of February. But by the 8th, Mars is going to try and Uranus It's going to be a more combustive energy, a more individualistic and rebellious energy. Um, other than that, other than that, nothing other in the days I really want to say, but the fact that we are heading into a Mars-Venus conjunction and into a, a Mars square Chiron, Venus square Chiron. Usually when Mars and Venus, which are considered brothers and uh, brothers in most cultures and lovers in most cultures, meet in the sky, it's a great time to celebrate love, to celebrate happiness, to celebrate living in a body and having senses, to actually enjoy things. It, it uh, stimulates things, if you will. Nevertheless, they are squaring Chiron, and this is an aspect that it's going to bring sensitivity in and some frustration from that sensitivity. It's an amazing time to exact and purify our relationships and our actions, Mars and Venus, in order for them to be more healing for us and others and to actually be more careful about abusive behaviors, both for ourselves or others. So that's about everything I had to say. But from the fact that it's still 20% off on all readings and lessons and private lessons with me because of COVID, if you want to use that, you can contact me. All the details are in the slide at the end. This is Mia Filer wishing us all, may we live long and prosper. Bye-bye.